So, Mr. President, I want to bring up what, what you referred to just a short while ago about politics. In, in your address to the nation, you said we have to put politics aside, stop the partisanship, and unify together. Um, but this morning, you criticized the Democratic governor of Michigan. Yesterday, it was the Democratic governor of New York. You've attacked Obama. You've, talked, you've attacked Biden. In fact, every day except one since that address, you've lashed out at a Democratic leader. Are, are, are you going to set the example? I only this? do that when I have to respond. I watched her on television. She said something that was false, and therefore I did do that. And I will continue to do that. If they're not going to play fair, because, you know, they have the media on their side, I don't. I just have me. And if they're not going to play fair, I'm going to do that. Uh, if they are going to play fair, there's going to be nobody There's going to be nobody better than Donald Trump in terms of uh, bipartisanship. But if, if they're going to say things that are false, like the story that was written yesterday, a lot of people, I don't know, somebody, uh, I think I know who, but they taped the conference call that I had with the governors. It was a good call. It was fine. I assume somebody's going to tape it. They handed it to various people, and one of them was the New York Times, and the New York Times chose to write uh, totally inaccurately about it. It was a disgraceful thing. It was bad journalism, but, you know, they do a lot of bad journalism. Uh, but we respond to that, and actually, uh, people get it. People get it. No, I want it to be bipartisan, and nobody's going to be better than me, but when they attack me or the people, these incredible people behind me, I'm not going to let them get away with it.